guys, Richie from Fred Junkies, and we are back. Um, today we're going to be looking at something uh, new from BG Harden. Um, this is the Full Monty. Uh, based on the Burns Buzz Around, highly dynamic pedal. Um, kind of, to my ears, a bit like tone bandery s kind of style, but um, let's listen to what Chris has got to say about it. He's probably going to break it down a bit better than me. Let's go. The Buzz Around's one of those lesser-known fuzz pedals from the 60s that seems to have developed a bit of a cult following these days. I've never played an original, just read about them in forums and heard YouTube clips, but that goes for most of the pedals I make. Circuit-wise, it's very close to a three-knob tone bender, but they ditched the volume knob and added a control called balance, which most guitarists these days would know as a bias. That changes the sound quite a bit, at least comparing the ones I've built. It's a cool sounding fuzz, apparently Robert Fripp is a fan. It can do all that dynamic gated stuff, but can just as well do the all out saturated sonic overload. The controls on this are fairly, um, fairly different, although the same. I think they've just labeled them um, different to make it more difficult to control. But I would like to think of the middle as the bias, volume, and sustain attack. Um, but it's actually labeled. Uh, the middle would be the balance. The left would be the volume, but it's called sustain. And the right is, is like a tone control, which is called the timbre. Um, that kind of uh, approach has been used on pedals before. Um, the bias is really, really good on this. Uh, you can get those kind of gated, uh, you know, really vocal ripping tones. And you can get those kind of long sustained big open tones all at the switch of your bias knob. So yeah, if you're a dynamic player and you like um, textures in your in your play in your kind of playing, and, and for me these kind of pedals are all about that, you know, um, they are different from first phase. They've got more character. They're a bit more um, spitty, aggressive. Yet they can be tamed. And if you're a textured kind of player um, and you like that touch, uh, dynamics, you know, and control of the volume part and all that kind of flavor, zonk kind of territory. This is a, a must. Um, I've had this now for a good while and I've really been giving it a good play to get to know it. Um, the first impression straight away were zonk. It, it, it felt like a zonk, um, but with a bit more openness to it and a bit more control, which is kind of nice to have that. Um, it's definitely as dynamic as the zonk. Um, it probably maybe doesn't spit quite as much. So the, it's kind of like that territory in between, like, you know, a zonk and, and going to fuzz face. So in that kind of era, um, it's just a really, really great pedal. Uh, I love using it with a lot of reverb and just getting all sorts of like flavors from it. And as I've said before, the, these the, Chris's work is some of my favorite. Um, it really is. It's clean. And there's something very honest about his, his work. I don't know what it is, you know. Um, it's just really good. Uh, I would definitely check BG Harden out. He's just now up to, uh, up to his decal, screen printing. Um, you know, look looking pretty slick. But that's enough talking for now, right? What we're going to do, we're going to get in. I'm going to try and dial through. I'll give you my clean bass tone. Um, I'll dial through and then I'll probably play some of my favorite tones of it. It is worth noting. Uh, and a lot of people have been asking, you know, about what my clean tone is like before these pad pedal demos. I really struggle with fuzz into a clean amp. I just do. Um, even the, like the best, the most sought after fuzz pedals into a clean amp just sound really thin to me. Um, so I like to drive the amp first. There's a couple of ways you can get there. You can drive the amp with an overdrive or you can turn the amp up and attenuate. I attenuate heavily 
to get the amp to where it needs to be, and then I add fuzz. And that's where these tones are that you like, you know, all, all Bramwell tones, uh, Gary Clark Jr., Hendrix, all those kind of amazing fuzz tones do not come from a clean amp. Um, you know, the amp is set on the edge. So yeah, that's, that's just a little kind of disclaimer. Get your amp working to achieve these tones, you know, and add the fuzz on top. So yeah. Let's get into it. Uh, oh yeah, it's Richie from Fred Junkies. If you're new here and you like these kind of videos, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel. And uh, and let's go. Cheers, peace.